Hello everybody, I'm Troy Brewer and I'm with propheticnumbers.com and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the mystery of the number 33. You know, numbers mean so much to me and I love the language that God speaks through numbers and if you have been seeing the number three everywhere and going, I think, I feel like God's speaking to me but I don't know what. Well, where you go to is you go to the Word of God and that's where you look. And so the number 33 all the way through scripture has to do with, are you ready for this? Because this is really good news. It has to do with God Almighty keeping his promises. That's right. So you know, actually the, the, the term amen has the gematria or it has a numerical value of the number, third, of the number 33 and the promises of God are yes and amen. God says yes, and then we have to add the amen part. Ooh, I like that. By the way, that's the scripture. You need to look that up. Another great example of the number 33 would be when, when God finally kept his promise to give uh, brother Abraham his promised child. Do you know what? It's the 33rd time that uh, his name is mentioned. And also too, he had that baby at the age of 99. And that is 33 times three. Wow, the promise of Abraham is Isaac, the promised child. I could go on and on and on all the way through the Word of God. And if you start looking at 33rd uh, chapters of the Bible, like Numbers 33 is the step by step by step into the promises of God. Man, I like that. I like also to uh, the third time, the 33rd time um, that uh, Noah is mentioned. It talks about uh, that God, God said, I'm going to make you a promise. And he puts a rainbow in the clouds. That's, that's a big deal. If you look all the way through the 33rd chapters of the Bible, you'll find that there is this, this theme that just runs through the Word of God about God Almighty keeping His promises. I would say that my favorite though, out of all the examples of 33 in the Bible, is out of all the prophecy, out of all the prophecies beginning in Genesis chapter 3, verse 16, and going all the way through the Word of God, where he says, you know what, there's a problem, but I'm gonna fix it. In fact, I'm gonna be the fixer of the problem. That there would be a child that was born and a child that was born of a woman who was a virgin. It's called the seed of the woman, which is impossible for a virgin woman to have a seed within her because women do not carry, do not carry the seed. But nonetheless, he fulfilled it. And at the age of 33 years old, Jesus Christ, the greatest person ever, kept the ultimate of all promises. You know, he's still got some more promises to keep. He's gonna come back, amen. So the number 33 represents and means God Almighty keeping his promises. I hope that you enjoyed that and I hope that you like that. And if you do like that, will you please like this? And will you please be sure and like this and share this if you would please. Let people know about propheticnumbers.com. And there at propheticnumbers.com, you can also see that I have an e-course. I have a book called Numbers That Preach. I have a workbook. And then I even have a channel at troybrewer.tv that's nothing but prophetic numbers videos. I'm much, much, much more extensive than this. And that's for people who partner with me to save girls out of sexual trafficking all over the world. You can find that at troybrewer.tv.